pleasure to invite uh, the Minister of Racing, uh, the Honourable Nathan Guy, to speak to us. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Can I acknowledge you, Chris Leone, and thank you for the opportunity to say a few words this evening. I bring with you, ladies and gentlemen, a very special greeting from the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable John Key, who of course is in Australia, otherwise he would have been here this evening. He's been to a few of these events in the past and wanted me to pass on best wishes to everyone here in the room and the inductees this evening. Can I also acknowledge your patron, Don McLaren, and acknowledge the contribution that he's made, not only to the Racing Hall of Fame, but the racing industry as a whole, and it's great that he has been acknowledged in the New Year's Honours this evening, uh, sorry, earlier this year. And also, Sir Peter Vela was acknowledged, one of the big awardees of uh, this year's New Year's Honours, and of course, someone local and dear to your heart, and dear to both of you here, on the stage also, Karen Fent and Alice acknowledged in this year's uh, New Year's Honours, which is fantastic. And I'm proud that those three have been acknowledged uh, for the contribution that they have made to the racing industry of New Zealand over a very long period of time. I acknowledge you, Your Worship, Julie Hardacre and your husband, Steve. Thank you very much for being here this evening and thanks for the wonderful work that you do. Uh, here in uh, Chief's heartland country. Of course, uh, in our household, uh, I'm a hurricane supporter, and my wife, Erica, who's here with me, with me this evening, uh, grew up quite a bit of her time here in Hamilton and Otrahonga. She parades her Chief's rugby jersey around our household very, very often. And uh, I acknowledge we are in heartland Chief's country. Glenda, can I also acknowledge you as Chair of the New Zealand Racing Board and thank you for the amazing contribution that you've already made in a short period of time uh, bringing together the important cogs of the racing industry and importantly generating more profit back into the racing industry which is hugely important. I acknowledge also David Bennett uh, and Sue Moroni as uh, local MPs. Thank you David for all of the good work that you do. Importantly supporting the expressway here, which is vital uh, in Heartland, Waikato, connecting through to Auckland as well. I'm very, import I'm very passionate about the racing industry. Uh, I'm the MP for Ōtaki down in uh, Skelton country. And of course, we have a couple of vibrant racing clubs down there in Foxton, in uh, Levin, and of course, importantly, the Ōtaki Racing Club and then we link very quickly to the south to Trentham and just to the north we have Awapuni. So I understand as a local MP the importance of the racing industry. I understand as your minister the importance of the racing industry to the New Zealand economy. About $1.6 billion generated, uh, about 17,000 full-time jobs, and if you think about those in the wider industry that are involved in some way, shape or form in the racing industry, we're talking about 50,000 New Zealanders. It's hugely important and I'm passionate about the New Zealand racing industry. I recently had the privilege to attend uh, the Wellington Cup and the Caracas sales with the Prime Minister and I would have been at the Caracas Million had it not been for a weather bomb when we circled Auckland for about 45 minutes. And I was so disappointed when the captain came on the intercom and said, unfortunately, we're returning to Wellington. But I heard that that was an amazing event despite the weather conditions. Uh, overall, the Caracas sale results were pretty positive despite uh, the Aussie exchange rate. And I know that we are going to have a very successful evening this evening. Congratulations to all of the inductees the 48 previous people and horses that have been acknowledged uh, in the past, etched now in the future of New Zealand's history for our future generations to come and understand the amazing contribution that these horses and people have made to the New Zealand racing industry. It's my view that we don't celebrate success enough and we should do more of this 
about celebrating the importance of the New Zealand racing industry, not only to the economy, but getting more punters back involved in the racing industry, getting more people back understanding the importance of racing and getting them back around the track and being an important part of the rich history and culture that the New Zealand racing industry has to New Zealand. So I join with all of you this evening and celebrating the success of the inductees. I wish you all the very best for what is going to be another important year in 2014. Many challenges ahead of us, but many wonderful opportunities. Thank you very much.